Hey everybody, this is the story about an older brother, and that's me there with the hat and the guitar. And like all older brothers, I've got a couple little brothers, so I guess this is a story about them too. We didn't have much space back then, that's why we were always outside. You know, I could never seem to wait for summertime to come back around. Those are always the best times. Those are always the best times. But brothers, especially little brothers, they get into your stuff. And they mess with your things. And what we needed was a bigger house or something. Somewhere we could have our own rooms, I'm telling you. But you know, Mom and Dad were doing the best they could. This was back during the college days when mom and dad were working on their degrees, always busy with books and homework, never slept. They were always working on something and always seemed to be barely hanging on to life's merry-go-round of deadlines and obligations. But they were trying to make life better. Three of us, well, we were pretty much raising ourselves around that time, which is fine by me. I dug the independence. But I wasn't just going to sit around and let mom and dad do all the work. I was the oldest brother, remember? So I was doing my own part to help break ourselves out of the bind. How's that, you say? The same way every kid with shaggy hair and dirty shoes breaks free. Rock and roll, man. Three chords and the truth. A voice from the outskirts of life. Just like heavy metal, gangster rap, punk rock. A poor kid can go pretty far with his fingertips on the C chord, D chord, and G chord. It's the poetry of the underclass. First, I had to ask my dad to replace my high E string. I had snapped it a while back, in the midst of a frenetic rock and roll fever. And I knew Dad was busy, but bless his heart if he didn't find some time to help me out. And with some new strings on the neck and my fingers on the fretboard, there was no stopping me now. No problem. Maybe someday I can get Henry to sit down with the drum set. Sam can play the keyboard. And someday when Mom and Dad have graduated, they have more time to realize what's important. They can sit down and jam with us again like they used to. Because what's more important than three chords in the truth? Being a voice for the voiceless. And spending time with the people you love. And knowing they will always have your back. Even if they are little brothers. You know, I was only 11 years old when I wrote this letter. Found it the other day in a, an old journal tucked up in a drawer. The message is still as clear as ever, even today, 19 years later. Let's have a party. <laughs> Life moves pretty fast. We're all out here trying to figure out who we are and what we're here for. Well, 19 years ago, I knew who I was. I was the rock and roll kid. Almost feel it. Is it done right now? Yep. I can see it down. What? Do you see it down all the way over there? No, because that's not even in my. I can't see it. Going to waterfall. No, not. Hurry up, Sam. The bus is coming. The bus is coming right now. You gotta hurry. Dad, look how big of a snowball. Yeah, yeah. Come on, hurry up. The bus is coming. <laughs> I love you guys. Have a good day. Get on the bus, Sam. <laughs> 